Well, here's the secondary star of the show. Obviously, my calibration is a U4PO. On there in two different places. So, next thing is to uh, take this apart and uh, install the quarter horse. Looks like uh, the two side connections are a 15 Torix. Definitely got some cleaning work to do. Well, it looks like I'll get a hold of a little WD-40 and start wiping that stuff off. Well, I wiped off everything I could see, then went back and used the old trusty WD-40 and cleaned it up real good. Now, just to be absolutely certain, I'm going to go over it with a fine wire brush and make sure I haven't got anything left that might prevent my quarter horse from making contact. Okay, looks like I'm ready for the quarter horse. Had a minor glitch when I was trying to install the battery. Uh, it looks like I had to bend this tab up. It was pushed down and it would slide beside the battery and the battery wouldn't stay down so all i did was bend this tab so the battery goes in underneath it and then of course it latches in on the other side over here but you know this was a minor surprise now it's time to go ahead and put the quarter horse in And that should be all there is to that except for the cable and here's the cable plugged in I don't see any way to tie it back off so I'll have to be real careful when I put it in that I don't accidentally unplug it or knock the quarter horse loose and here it is covers back on and ready to install just one more little final note before I put it all back together. I noticed they provided ferrites, so put one here and one here. 
and here's their bracket. I just bent it 90 degrees and found out the top hole was real good for a 1024. So also found out that Ford left me a nice little place to mount it right at the very bottom right of the glove box door. This bolt will go right through the hole and all I gotta do is just tighten it up. No holes to drill in the Mustang. Well, here's all the tools you're gonna need to install your quarter horse. 5 sixteenths box wrench just to get the battery off. Use the breaker bar to pull the rivet. Three assorted screwdrivers to leverage off the electric connectors. Add the leverage to the top part of the connector against the bottom part of the connector. Quarter inch screwdriver style drive. T15 Torx. And 11 30 seconds, 5 sixteenths, 9 30 seconds, and 7 30 seconds socket and all quarter inch drive. A 10 millimeter wrench and a 10 millimeter socket along of course the 3H drive to get the main connector off. Note that there is a clearance issue here. With the quarter horse in, there's no room on the top side of the computer between the computer and the car frame to reinstall the computer fully, so you won't be able to put that mounting screw back in. The main connector for the computer is very tight wedged in there. It's very hard to get it back in place. So I don't think there's any danger of the computer going anywhere. Well that wraps up the hardware installation. I'm going to save the software for another video but uh, there have been quite a few lessons I've learned along the way and we'll get into those a little later on. I've had some of you tell me that I sure sound like the king. Be safe. Uh, keep it between the ditches and uh, may the force be with you. Thank you. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned. I got lots more to come, baby. Lots more.